Hey, it's another K car. Hijit. A Daihatsu Hijit. There's so many more of those appearing around our wonderful nation now. Anyway, on this episode of Moving Our World, we are inside the world's smallest vehicle that I've been in yet. It's not. Wow, there's no sound ending in here. No, no, no. Andrew, if you could tell us a little bit about this thing, that would be really cool. A year ago, I picked up a four door Daihatsu Charade. Um, L251 was the model. Is it Charade or Charade? Yes. Okay. Yep. I always get self conscious when I say it. I don't know what to say. But yeah, anyway, yeah. got a Che Raid. Che Raid, that was a one litre five speed. Three um, cylinder? Three cylinder, yep. Yep. Not long after that, I figured out that in Malaysia, um, they're still making those cars up until a few years ago under the Perodua badge. Perodua, and we, we have a little bit of history with Perodua's because yeah. long story short, if you don't know Andrew and you don't know me, we've been friends for quite a long time. We became friends on the internet. Um, we're obsessed with small bikes. There's a channel called Small Bike Stuff that I also do. Go check out those videos. But we did a trip from Malaysia to Thailand and when we arrived in Malaysia, we saw all these cool cars everywhere and we're like, what the heck are they? They looked familiar, but... I remember yeah. the Uber driver or someone or a, a Grab Taxi, I think it is over there. I said, what is that? And he was like, Rudua. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> it was um, Perro Dua. P-R-O. P-E-R-O. Dua. Dua. D-U-A. And um, yeah, so they're a cool, cool manufacturer and they make a whole bunch of Japanese derived models. Yeah, I mean, I think they had partnership with Toyota and also Daihatsu to kind of rebadge and... And Toyota and Daihatsu have... They're the same company now. Okay. Uh, Toyota bought, bought them. Okay. So yeah, they rebadge the, the like common or popular small models usually yeah. and resell them in, in Malaysia for many years after they stopped selling them in Japan. Yeah. So for my Shea Raid, I found some coilover suspension and some other little bits and pieces that I imported over here. Yeah. And they were cheap. Yeah. Like super cheap. I'm thinking in, in New Zealand dollars, if you're not used to our currency and the way it works, it's dollars. A thousand dollars is like, you know, a decent amount of money. Yeah. Uh, and a set of coilovers for say a Honda Integra or something like that, you're probably looking at like 18 to two and a half. 1800 to two and a half maybe thousand yep. dollars and you got yours landed so this is the cost of the coilovers the cost of shipping which was more than the cost of the coilovers yeah it was dhl and it came in like five days yeah yeah and and what was the total cost landed like seven hundred dollars yeah that's yeah. crazy absolutely crazy you can do your own currency conversions but you slammed that one and then why do you have this one yeah so that one um unfortunately got crashed into And because it's such a small car, it was enough damage that it just wasn't worth repairing. Um, you could have done it yourself, but it was insured and they were gonna pay me out. So uh, I just went with that option. But just last week, I found this car, which looks very similar. However, it's a Japanese import, not Malaysian, not New Zealand new, yeah. uh, which means it's badged as a mirror, which is what they actually are. So it's a Daihatsu mirror. Daihatsu mirror. And the last one was a Daihatsu Charade. Yeah, so the Charade was always the slightly bigger car. But for some reason, in New Zealand and Australia, they sold them as a um, the mirror, the mirror, doer? mirror as a charade. Ah, okay. But this is an actual mirror. Yeah. No one cares. I mean, Mighty Car Mods might come across this video and be like, wow, because they, um, they uh, Marty has an obsession with the yeah. um, mirrors, I'm pretty sure. But it's not this shape. Well, they just got one of these shapes. It was a charade, but they had the similar yarn about how yeah. it's not a charade. Yeah, okay, so cool. Mirror. Cool. So if you don't understand what we're saying, just go watch Mighty Car Mods, but then come back and watch this because we need the views. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, just found, found this one um, uh, last week. There's not much here. There's a camera. That's mine. It does also have a book that says car. And in this book, there's uh, the certificate of registration when it first came into New Zealand. Economical motoring at its finest. Yeah. So yeah, it's well looked after. It's a pretty cool vehicle, and I don't know. Like I, I have a pretty raging white on for um. I don't know if you're allowed to say that. <laughs> All right. Well, this door is perpendicular to the car. That's pretty insane. Anyway, time to look like Francis Train Boy. <laughs> I need a GoPro 360 for my head. Yeah. Woo! You see the back's kind of empty. It's like a Ute, mm -hmm. but it's got a top. Oh, D3. Oh yeah, that's um, it's automatic, eh? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> You're not wrong.
That's cool. Like, there's not many vehicles you can go wide open in, in, the, middle uh, in the middle of town. <laughs> it's electric power steering. Oh wow! So power assisted power steering. So you mean it's just got power steering? Yeah, but like it's it electric. A, I don't know how it works. It hasn't got a. Um, there's no reservoir. There's no fluid. Oh, it's electric. Okay. So yeah, that, I didn't know that. Um, that's pretty cool. You've got your manual window winders here. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. Uh, if we look at the kind of the dash or the gauge setup, it's super basic. So on the left, we've got two, three, D, four, N for nighttime, R for reverse, and P for park. No trip meter. Yep, no trip meter. Just the no rev counter. Um, no fuel light, I imagine probably. No, no fuel light. Yeah. Over here we've got AC, um, which you know the light it illuminates, and then you've got your rear window demister. Yep. yep. Um, hazard lights, and yeah. Just your different kind of air conditioning settings but it's pretty basic over here i don't know if you can see oh, yeah. if you can't we'll try get it afterwards but it's um headlight leveling because i think this is meant to be like a delivery ute yeah delivery yeah. van so yeah. it's got full of produce and it's put in the back down you can adjust your headlights just so i think we'll go out to the country maybe and just do a, yeah. a, like yeah. a, a bit of a speed run yeah it does 100 which is the speed, open road speed limit in new zealand it yeah. does that Fine. Yeah, but actually can crack triple digits. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it should. Can you get some like volume on that stereo for a second? Hopefully it's talk back or something so you don't get bored yeah. with forest growers. Trees helping New Zealand to get carbon One neutral by there. 2050. Sick. Found our country road and we're uh, just going for a hoon. Basically, I've got my foot to the floor at the moment. As you can see, we're about to crack 80. Oh, there's a roadwork zone ahead. Yeah, power. They're installing electricity. 60, 70, 80. Yeah, not bad. Kind of definitely slows down a bit after 80. But I mean, it's fun. I, these things didn't catch on in New Zealand. No one really cares about k-cars but uh i'm quite impressed you know you can throw this thing into the corners and it doesn't feel like it's gonna it sounds like a hairdryer yeah it does it sounds like a hairdryer being switched between high and low yeah. speed i've got my foot to the floor at the moment we're about to hit 90. about to hit 90. just hit 90. oh god but uh yeah i mean this thing's doing its job it's obviously never really had a life where it's been treated like this but i think it handles it well would i buy one if it was 1500 bucks two grand yeah probably i don't think i could justify any more but in saying that this thing does have next to no kilometers on it and it's exceptionally well looked after i know you paid a little bit over two yeah so you know that makes entirely it makes sense I'm not speeding because, well I'm not speeding, but I'm not trying to go fast <laughs> because I'm trying to be a hooligan, I'm just trying not to lose momentum. You can feel the tyres rolling underneath yeah, themselves. Yeah, it's 12 inch wheels with that much tread pattern. Yeah, yeah. I do feel bad revving it like that though, I just, I don't know if it's because it's automatic and it just kind of hangs there. Well, I mean, in my, the way it works for me is, it wouldn't do it if it couldn't. Yeah. It's got a rev limit and we're not hitting it. No. I think it's just there's no sound deadening. Uh, it's obviously a small engine so it's working really hard and the sound compared to the speed ratio is not what I'm used to in yeah, other cars. Right. So you kind of feel like you're pushing it really hard and I guess you are. But it's um yeah, it's fine. It does its job. It's, what do you feel about the steering? The steering's there, but I feel it's, like it's if you pretty, turn too quickly it's very light. It's quite light. I feel like if you turn too quickly, the tire's just going to pop off their bead. Yeah. I guess you have to kind of play with the gears a bit. We've got it in third at the moment, because if you leave it in D4, it gets a bit confused on these roads where you're doing a higher speed. It'll drop into fourth when it doesn't really need to be there. All right, well, it's been awesome, man. I'm going to uh, park up with this awesome view, because it's awesome. And I do want to try one last thing. Uh, this thing does have seats behind us. But I have a sneaking suspicion that you can't use them. Fold that chair forward. Sick. All right, well, you get in there. Does it have seat belts? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then. If you want to get in. Yeah, I mean. It's doable. 
it's this seat is there's nothing on this seat. No, I, I'm gonna try to get in this way. I think. I love all this weight. The seat is the width of my hand. <laughs> See, I have to move the seat forward. I will. Uh, it's got a pedal there. Ow. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's no room. <laughs> what was the point of this? Because <laughs> I want to get both of us in here. And I don't feel like I can get through the driver's side because the steering wheel's in the way. Um, Sick. You can pull your own lever back. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow. No, I can't on this side. Well, this is cool. There's no room for the driver. <laughs> Sick. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on uh, Moving Our World. And next time we see this, it, it'll be a little bit modified, I think. Yep. Stay tuned. All right, let's do all the other shots of it.